Sorry, I'm not looking for conversation. I came here to get a drink, listen to some music and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone wearing a uniform is banned from entering the cantina, so... And the officers don't like us hanging around here when we're off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the enemy. But... I guess it gets pretty stale hanging around the base all the time, so I come down here sometimes. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being in their fleet as a soldier is just a job. A job with long hours and low pay, I might add. Well. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales, but look at me. I ended up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. <sighs> If I could just find a way to earn some credits, I could give up this lousy job, retire my uniform so to speak. Well, I used to travel a lot, you know. I used to be something else. But look at me now. I'm just a Sith, I guess. The senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions. They don't like us fraternizing with the locals. Another perk of the job. But oh well. The other day, I actually tried and be social. I tried and speak to a man. You'll never guess how he treated me. He said, Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing I'm of the nobility? I can't be seen talking to common rebel. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. <laughs> Can you believe it? <sighs> well, I guess we all judge each other based on our clothing. You, for example. You look exotic enough. I feel like you're not from Taris. Not from here, at least. By the way, what do you think of Taris music? What do you think of the band? They're quite good, wouldn't you agree? Oh, they are on the verge of intergalactic stardom. You can trust me, I have a talent for those things. You know, If you like them, I might be able to arrange something. You know, one of the reasons why I come here to the cantina is to listen to them. When I listen to them, I can forget about my miserable life. So yes, that's basically why I come here so often. Other than the fact that I am utterly bored at the military base. But what do you think of their music? Tell me, I'd be very interested in hearing the opinion of a newcomer. Well, obviously you have an ear for music. If you'd like, you know, I could arrange a meeting between you and the band. You know, they'll be famous soon enough. I mean, they were about to go on tour before the Sith quarantine stranded them here. I told you, it's just 
a job. The Seth don't own me at all. Just a job. And well, if you like the music, I might be able to, you know, arrange that meeting. What do you think? A brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars. Sounds good to you? I have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguard backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, I could be able to arrange a quick meeting between you and the band. How does it sound? You sting me with your words. I merely thought you were interested in meeting a celebrity before, you know, they become intergalactically famous, but you know, whatever. If you're not interested, so be it. And thank you for talking to me. Most people don't like us, Sith. Most people don't even want to talk to us. Can we really blame them? That's true. But most people don't even appreciate what we've done for them. Oh no, no, no. I mean, we could have slapped a curfew on this whole planet, but we didn't. You know, people should learn to make the best out of things. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but here I am, and I do my job. That's true. It's nice to finally meet someone who understands what we're going through, what I am going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. Thank you. If only I could earn some extra credits, I'd be able to leave this backwater planet. Would you be interested in buying a Bazaar deck? For the small sum of 50 credits, I'll give you my old deck, I'll sell you my old deck and I even throw in a free lesson to boot what do you think? don't get me wrong the good's been good to me over the years but you know I've traveled the span of the galaxy from the cold world to the farthest reaches of the outer rim I've won countless fortunes and lost countless more huh. you know things have changed now that I am in the military I can't exactly afford to be gambling every night which is why I'm giving my bizarre deck up and also because I need some extra credits to start new to start fresh glad to see you're interested in the grand old game the rules are pretty simple I load them into your uh, data pad so you can Check them out anytime you want. Give it to me. Good luck to you. I hope the game is as good as you as it was to me. Actually, now that I look at you, you're exactly my type. Handsome, rich, exactly the way I like them. You know, if you want, we could go to the tap room together, slip away. If you play your cards well, Bazak might not be the only game you get lucky at tonight. Alright, I hear you. The goal of the game is to reach 20 without going over, or to get closer to it than your opponent. If you do so, you win the round. With three rounds, you win the game. Victory is yours. Pretty easy, isn't it? I don't know if you saw there was a duel just before between Garland, Two Fingers and Deadeye Duncan. <laughs> Quite amusing. If you are interested, I could, for the small sum of 10 credits, um, let you meet the duel organizer. Well, there are only five duelists now. Curl into fingers, um, Dead Eye Duncan, Ice, Twitch, and Marl, I think. Or is it another one? Oh, Bendak Star Killer as well. 
Yes. Well, his name is Deadai Duncan because he fights like he's blind. I mean, the ever persistent Duncan is how they call him. He always loses. There's no way, no way you're going to lose against him. So I would advise you to play against Deadai Duncan. It would be a very easy win. No one is going to, you know, congratulate you considering he's fairly weak, but it's an easy way to earn a hundred credits. Oh, it's another story entirely. Gerlin used to be pretty good at here, but rumor has it that his blaster overheated and exploded in his hand, which is why he lost three fingers and he's now called Gerlin Two Fingers. He used to be pretty good. Twitch is insane. I have never seen that Rodian lose. He's actually completely insane. He uses two heavy blasters and he can use rapid shots. So if you want to stand a chance, you'll have to use mm, probably flag grenades and at least five or six against him. You seem like you know your stuff. Do you want me to introduce you to the uh, dual organizer? Very well. Follow me then. How'd you get in here? Oh, who sent, who sent you? Okay. Come on in. No, don't worry about it. They look harmless. You know, it isn't safe down here just roaming about. Where'd you come from? Okay. Well, where are you headed? What, what, what brings you here? Oh, yeah, you have a map? Let me see. This map is rare. Someone helped you plan this. You're not alone, are you? I could get in some big trouble for helping you, you know. No, 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 don't get me wrong. I can help you. I can help you very much. But it's gonna cost you. I assume you have a great deal. Credits. Something to offer me for trade? Well, go ahead and hand it over. Let's see what you got. Let's see, what do we have here? This will get you by a little, but I'm afraid it's not nearly enough. You must have something else to offer me. You didn't come here empty-handed, did you? Let me check. Let me see what we can do. Here's 
here's what we're gonna do. I'll give you what you need to get through. Once you conquer the missions I've seen on your map, you're gonna come back to me and you're gonna pay your dues. Understood. Okay, so what you have here, this is worth about a hundred credits. This will get you a few things, okay? We're gonna have to charge an additional amount for some of the things you can't leave without. You should only come out owing me an additional 50 credits. I can let that slide this time. Okay. What's your name? right now, it'll get you this laser gun here. This is very dangerous. Have you ever used one of these before? Okay. Before you leave, go upstairs, second door on your right. For ten credits extra, they will give you a quick lesson training on this, how to use it. I really recommend doing that if you haven't used this in the past, or if you've only used it a few times. Where you're going, you're gonna need some training. Now, you're gonna need to take this with you. Bring this back when you're finished with the mission. This is going to get you out of trouble if you get into any. Keep this with you at all times. Okay. In case you drop your gun, always keep this knife on you. thing that you're gonna need to take with you is a lightsaber. Be very careful with this, okay? Now, I think with all of these weapons 